Airway Heights is growing and so is the need for bigger and better city facilities. And this 39,000 square foot building will eventually hold the fire department, police station and city hall. I was extremely happy. Karen Inman has lived in Airway Heights a long time. 50 years, 51 years. She was one of the dozens of people that turned out for a ribbon cutting event for Airway Heights new public safety campus. To be able to come together so they can collaborate is just huge. Um, they could, this space is beautiful and it, it's, it's just going room to grow. The new public safety campus is empty for now, but in just under two years, it will hold the entire fire and police departments as well as a city hall. We're hoping to be able to add more staffing and have the peop more people to be able to do the work with. Mitch Metzger is the Airway Heights fire chief. He says this new campus will be a major step up from their current facility. The original building was built in 1968. It's been remodeled 10 times. It doesn't have adequate areas for decontamination um, for, of our equipment. The $8 million new facility was made possible thanks to a bond passed by Airway Heights voters in August. But the new space is needed more than just to replace some old buildings. In the last 10 years, our population has increased almost double. From 6,000 to now 12,000 people living in Airway Heights. Even though we're a small community, we need a lot out here. Mayor Larry Bowman says a centralized space is just what the city needs. We want to bring all of our city services together in one building and have a one-stop shop for the entire community, and this is it. As for Karen, she hopes the city can keep reaching for the heights. It's just enormous to me to see this, that, that we can expand and, and become a bigger city. This building is expected to be completed in the spring of 2025. In Area Heights, Nathan Khan, Crem2 News.